The topic of this video is working with properties of logarithms. Let's look at a problem. Write log base 4 of the difference x squared minus 4 minus 4 log base 4 of the sum x plus 2 as a single logarithm. It's important to look at the directions. The directions for this particular problem give us two logs that are being subtracted, and they ask us to write it as a single logarithm, meaning we want only one. So we look at our log rules, and we see what kind of log rule will allow us to take two logs that are being subtracted and write it as a single logarithm. The rule that comes to mind is rule 7. Rule 7 says log base a of m minus log base a of n equals log base a of the quotient m over n. We would like to use rule 7 for this problem, but we cannot use it yet. And the reason why is because of this 4. Whenever you want to use a log rule, you have to have a place for everything and everything in its place. If there's anything extra, or if there's anything missing, you can't use that log rule. In our particular instance, we see that the base a is 4, the first argument m is x squared minus 4, the base a is 4, the second argument n is x plus 2. But what do we do with this 4? It's extra. So, prior to being able to use rule 7, we need to find a way to get rid of that 4. And we need a rule to do that. That rule is rule 9. Let's write it down. Rule 9 says, r log base a of m is the same thing as log base a of m to the r power. I'd like to draw the bricks in this statement so that you can see exactly what's happening. On the left, we have a logarithm that's being multiplied by r, and that r is outside of the log, outside of the brick. Rule 9 allows us to take a factor that is multiplying by a log and move it from outside the brick to inside the brick. This rule is the reason why the brick has an opening in the upper left-hand corner. So when the r comes inside, it becomes the exponent of the argument, and we have log base a of m to the r power. Applying that same idea to the problem we are solving, this allows us to take this 4 and move it from outside of the brick to become the exponent of the argument inside the brick. So we will now rewrite our problem as log base 4 of the difference x squared minus 4 minus log base 4 of the argument x plus 2 to the fourth power. Okay, now that we've used rule 9 and we've gotten that pesky 4 out of our way, now we can go ahead and use rule 7 as previously stated. Let's write rule 7 one more time. Log base a of m minus log base a of n equals log base a of the quotient m over n. Said another way, when two logs with the same base are being subtracted, you can combine them into one log using that base. You just have to divide the two arguments. So that's what we'll do in this particular problem. We notice that when we compare the log rule with the information that we are given, Everywhere we see an a, we have a 4. Our first argument, m, corresponds to x squared minus 4. Our second argument, n, corresponds to x plus 2 to the fourth power. So when we combine these two logarithms into 1, we keep the base the same, log base 4, and divide the two arguments. So we get x squared minus 4 as the numerator, and x plus 2 all in parentheses raised to the fourth power as the denominator. Sometimes you will see the entire fraction put in parentheses for clarity to indicate that the entire fraction is the argument of the log. Now, is that our final answer? No. And the reason why is because we can simplify our argument further. Our argument is a rational expression. We learned how to simplify rational expressions in an earlier video. For example, this numerator can be factored. 
this difference of squares, x squared minus 4, can be written as x plus 2, x minus 2. And in our denominator, since an exponent tells me how many times to multiply a base by itself, I can write an x plus 2, a second x plus 2, a third x plus 2, and a fourth x plus 2. This entire fraction is the argument. But you'll notice that it has an x plus 2 top and bottom. And since both those x plus 2s are factors, they can be canceled to 1. This allows me to rewrite my problem as log base 4 of the stuff that's left over, x minus 2 up top and x plus 2 cubed, because now there's only three of them, down below. This is our final answer for this problem. And you'll notice that I didn't put parentheses around the entire fraction. I could if I wanted to, it would increase clarity. It tells me that I'm taking the log of the entire fraction. However, those parentheses are not necessary.